Hi guys, well, I hope you're not afraid of dirt. That's yes, Or mankiness. Because, well, I'll tell you the story before I show you what they are. Well, once upon a time in a land far, far away, I went to the auction to get rid of three vacuums. So the vacuums they were were the DCO4. Got rid of that, sick of it. Got rid of the power spray. Again, sick of it, don't need it. And I got rid of one of the 2100s. Not, not my one that reminds me of my lost childhood. Max the Vax. Uh, I called him Max and wrote a smile on him. Well, drew a smile on him. Anyway, I can't let you see what they are. I mean, so rare. Anyway, so, I took them in and then a couple of weeks ago there was a lot of Dysons. There was a DC-15, a DC-14, three DC-07s. A two DC fourteens actually. That was the same week I bought my uh, vintage Electrolux, which I haven't seen yet. It's pretty cool, like. But anyway, one of them is similar to this. Well, it might even be the same. That makes a noise like this. Oh well, it's not turned on. And one of them's a DC fourteen. Yes, I gave it away. Well, you see, what he said was, "Oh, I've got some Dysons up at the back of the auction." So then I was like, oh well, show me what you've got. So I went back, he was offering me five Dysons for £20. Now that's not bad, is it? Um, f three DC-07s, a DC-14 and a DC-15. Well, I'm going to let you guess what, what ones I accepted. Well anyway, one of the dc 7 there was a DC-07 HEPA, the white one, like Pneumatic Rule 29 used to have. There was the Allergy one that I used to have. And then the DC07i as well. And then there was a DC14 in blue and a DC15, same as that one. Well, uh, one, this is why I never took them all. One, I could not fit five Dysons in the back of our Nissan Leaf. Two, we, had, we were trying to clear space, not make, not make clutter. So I thought, well, I picked two. And I got them for a tenner. One of them's, well, I'll show you before I explain. Here's the DC-14. Oh my goodness, isn't it worn? What am I going to do? I'll explain about this. And this DC-15. I got this because hopefully the brush roll's fine. And I can make the brush roll on that one better. Now the reason this one has a sticker on it saying about the Dyson Doctor. Now the reason there's black tape on it is just to cover up the area because it's an area nearby. But anyway, this is the older style with a non-clear through, see-through thing. Oh yeah, do you like the new trainers? 60 quid, but oh well. They're nice. It's manky, but at least, I mean, look at that. That's the stuff that goes through to the motor and there's, do if you can see the doggy. Excuse, there's a truck outside. At least they had cleaned the filter recently and put a nice freshener in it. Lily of the Valley, shaken back by the smells of things. And in there, I dread to think what's in there. I haven't even turned these on. I have. This is. I haven't even cleaned them up. I bought that one as a fully working Hoover. It just needed bits and bobs done to it. This wasn't put on right, but the auctioneer said he used this one to vacuum the stage because it's like a little stage you just slap that back on he says yeah he done that slapped it back on i love his gestures now this tool will sit on that but it doesn't fit the wand which is slightly worn it's too big and it's not the right color but it's the right color for this and fits so i'm guessing these two maybe had a connection i'm only guessing because if you owned a dc-15 you wouldn't get the wrong dust and brush sorry about the wind so, yeah, let's try and do this Rusty Skull production style. Well, I'll I'll do a video on this on these before and then after, and then we'll see what happens. This one I've no clue about if it works or not, but I know they both got cables and plugs. Um, who's ready to puke? I hope you are. I hope you had a lovely dinner because you're about to throw it up. minging look at that I don't need to do any talking it's mine you can't see it too well but it is 
I haven't even reclaimed this yet. That's how much I haven't had it. I'm only just back. Well, if I recline it a bit, I'll get stuff all over the carpet. Oh, we're getting ball manoeuvres. We know one thing works. And this one, this one's about just as bad. The brush roll on this is pretty worn. Those bristles are pretty sparse. Um, I can't really feel them making any contact. Plus this base plate is knackered. Now, one thing that is positive on this one is that nothing's gone through to the motor. That's now lovely and clean. So, it stinks this one. How's that? Now, I haven't looked at any of their other filters. I've seen the pre ones, but not the post filters. This is worn <laughs> and very stiff. Ooh, I never realised they were that chunky. Oh, it's missing the little flappy bit there. Well, let's see. It's got an original Dyson plug on it. Let's take this off and have a look at the holes. Tape. I do have another DC14 crevice tool and possibly a poster tool. Oh, this is this feels lightweight. Ooh. Can I know I won't I'll try and do this one handed. And my uncle's got a DC14. Not the best. I'm trying to do this one handed. I'm using my arm to pull the hose out. Well I'm not gonna pull it out, but you can see there that it's taped. Click it back in. Down it goes. There we go. Right, I will try this one on camera, but I'll take it outside. Right, so let's just move this over the out the way. Aha! DC 15. Seven minutes. So I'll be quick and we'll show the holes on this one. I'll do a separate video of testing the DC 15 just because I don't want to try and test both of them in the time I've got. Holes looks okay. Maybe a slightly funny colour. I've got bits of dog hair flying out. That one looks okay. It's funny because my other DC-15, that was serviced as well. You can just see where I ripped the sticker off, but I didn't quite take it all off. I hate those when you press the wand button, it takes the wand back in. Now I've got it fully expanded. Slightly worn here. I don't know how you can manage to do that. And it's smooth, so it's obviously not cracked off. Oh, this is just dusty. I'm feeling it and I'm getting dusty hands. Doesn't go down very smoothly. There we go. And this one, I'll do a testing vid of. But I know I bought this one as a fully working Hunza. I know that auctioneer is sometimes wrong. So, oh, do excuse the washing machine. New one, by the way. Right, let's give this one a little try. Right, guys. Can I? Yes, I am going to stick my tablet back in the case. Oh, wrong side. Right, and just so I'm going to be leaving this here, by the way. So it's the wrong way around. Terribly sorry, just give me one moment while I go and take this DC 14 outside. Right, I've switched the switch on and I've plugged it in. Can I just sit my tablet down? You might just hear it. Let's go! I'd say that sounds okay, but we've got a bit of a noisy brush roll. How does that sound, guys? Is it. Thumbs up if I get. Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I don't know. Well, while we have this one here, nine minutes, well, okay. I'm just going to go take this DC 15 outside and we'll see what else will happen.
I hope it doesn't blow up on camera. Right guys, I'm going to actually shut the door. I'm pretty scared about this one. Let's try it from the comforts of the garage, shall we? Oh, just took a photo. I'll show the dirt off the back of my tablet. It's working! But it sounds blocked. Video on those two once they're cleaned up, but um, I think for that DC 15, the clog's going to be quite nasty, so I'm going to do a video of what the clog was and what was in the cylinder. Are, are you ready for that? Right, puke now, get all your food out before you watch the clog, it's going to be pretty interesting. Bye.